In this video, we're gonna talk about one of the most basic, but also important features of structure, and that is populating your structure with data and building issue hierarchy within it. This video is part of our efforts to provide the best possible training around Jira, Confluence, and whole Atlassian ecosystem. If you would like to support us, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below if you have any questions, and remember that you can always reach out to us for one of our paid services like training, consultations, and implementations. All right, so over here I have an empty structure. Let's see how I can populate this with data. And for the start, let's imagine that we want, we want to have over here issues from single Jira project and structure would be basically what we would expect from agile team. So epic at the top, below that maybe tasks or stories and below that subtasks, right? So in the empty structure, we can click over here, add, and we have several options over here. So let's first look at the preset. Uh, so this allows us to create let's say that structure or hierarchy of issues based on the template. So over here we have agile hierarchy, so epic at the top below that uh, issues that are within the epic. Sprint, so basically element representing sprints and issues within the sprint. Uh, also issues grouped by status or by Jira project. So for us, epic will be the one that is interesting to us and we can select a project from which we want to source the data. So let's just click demo project. You can see that several generators were added. So we are adding issues from the project. Uh, we add subtasks, tasks belonging to epics, and we can now drill down and see the hierarchy of the issues. We have epics, tasks, subtasks. So very nice three level hierarchy, very simply, thanks to using a preset. So if, if this is the setup that you're interested in, you can basically stop watching the video. Uh, this is how you can achieve it. But in many cases, hierarchies that we want to build are way, way more complex. So for example, three levels of hierarchy may not be sufficient. Maybe we need a higher level element like feature uh, and this feature will be uh, delivered by several epics. So we need to deliver, deliver several epic so that the feature is complete. Or maybe we have tasks spread over several different Jira projects. So usually for that, the presets are not sufficient. Uh, we need to actually uh, pick by ourselves what kind of gen uh, generators we want to use. Uh, so I will remove all that and let's start from the scratch. Okay, so with my structure empty once again, let's do the setup that we just seen. Uh, so simple epic task subtask, uh, and then we, we will build on top of that, but we will do everything step by step so you understand how can you use specific structure builders. So we are starting with add and we want to insert the data into our structure. So you can see over here that there is several options. Uh, we, can, we could insert the data based on JQL query. So basically if we have a query uh, that selects the issues that we are interested in, we can just use this query over here. We could pull in all the issues from specific agile boards. So if your teams are working on Jira boards, you can use that so that you do not have to duplicate the, the query on which the board is based or try to figure out the other way to identify these issues. But what we'll use is we'll use basic insert and we will just insert my whole uh, Jira project, all issue types, all statuses, that's completely okay. Uh, we could add over here more and do some additional filtering. So maybe if I do not want to, hmm, what I wouldn't like to, maybe I do not want to pull in the low, lowest priority, right? So yeah, I want to have only the ones that are high, medium or low without lowest. 
I can select what kind of priority issues I want to pull in. So I can add some kind of filtering on top of what, all the issues that I selected initially from the projects. I remove that. Let's just pull in everything. Okay, nice. So I have the issues, that's good. There is no hierarchy to them, which is not so good, but this is another step. We already has a, have a base on which we can work. Okay, so another step is to start grouping the tickets under the proper parents. So let's click add again. Uh, we already look at presets, extends for now, we'll miss a uh, group. This is the thing that is interesting to us. So we will group issues and now we can group them by the field or by the link. Uh, this, is, this is actually interesting, the link one, but first let's focus on the field. And what I want to group by is an epic. Uh, yeah, so there are several options, well, two over here. I consider other groups and move items in structure will update group. So basically, if we leave that selected, uh, if you move the tasks that is a child of one epic in hierarchy to under the other epic, this will also update the task. So this is worth remembering that depending whether you select this or not, there will be two-way synchronization between the task uh, and, and structure. Okay, so let's create that. And nicely, you already see that we have tasks grouped under the epic. This is what we expected and what we wanted. And now what we do not have here is we do not have any subtasks. By that I mean subtasks are not grouped under the tasks. And this is the fir third step that we need to do to replicate our initial uh, setup that we got also from the preset. But this time we won't be using group, we will be using extent. It's kind of strange because uh, by using extent we can pull additional issues into our structure. So basically we could, for example, select single, uh, single task from single project and then based on links which exist with this task, pull in another task thanks to this extent uh, generator. But in this case, we will use that just to group the subtasks under the uh, stories or tasks. Uh, so let's see if that helps any. Yeah, you can see that over here, some of the subtasks or, or subtasks are grouped under some of the tasks. So we already have this free level hierarchy that we already had. Now, what if we want to have this more complex setup? Obviously, we can still go, go over here and use some gro group features. Uh, so, for example, we could group by issue links or by other fields. So, for example, so, um, for example, under the epic, we could have grouping by the status and then the list of the tasks, right? Uh, so, we can add multiple groups over here. But I, what I want you to show is, I'll go to extend again, and I want to show you linked items. Uh, I'm using extend uh, feature with, with these links and not the group feature as in the links. You've seen that it was available also there because quite possibly I will also pull some tasks from outside of the project that I initially started with. Uh, so link type, I will actually select, I have the hierarchy link over here, parent child too. I'm not sure if this will actually if, if i have anything over here yeah i do so you can see that two chi two, two stories over here have now children and you can see that finally enough this child child is the same issue type as the parent so basically we have a story uh, that is a parent of the story normally in jira it would be not possible so why does structure considers it a parent child relation so if i click on one of these issues you will see that I have a link over here, is a child of two, and it is a child of issue DP32, which is the parent in a structure. So basically, thanks to the fact that link, issue link exists between those two issues, structure understands this link as information about hierarchy. So we could have actually multiple levels 
of stories being one being the child of another and, and the child of another uh, just by using links, dedicated link type on the issue level. So this already gives us a lot of flexibility because yeah, we could link whatever we want, right? It's also a bit risky because, because yeah, uh, first of all, it is not manually. Second, Jira does not validate these links in any way. We could, for example, go and con come up with a, with a situation where the issue is shown by the links to be children of two elements, which I assume is not perfect. Anyway, this linking gives us a lot of flexibility and is really, really powerful. Okay, let's for a moment return to the extend function. So I've told you that it can pull in tasks also from other projects. So at the moment I have only tasks from demo project. Uh, I could pull in tasks from other and just to prove that at the moment there are tasks only from this project, I will apply this filter. It shows everything that is not from DP project. You can see it is empty. So let's actually do an extend also based on the link. But this time I will select uh, Gantt end to start link. So this normally shows dependency, but I will use it to pull in additional data. Okay, it was pulled, the generator appeared. Now I will do the filtering and you can see that there are some tasks. These ones are still from demo project, but the children is from demo project three. So I've pulled some additional tasks from other Jira project based on the links that exist between the issues. Uh, all right, so we've already seen quite a lot. I won't be going into sorting and filtering, but we've already seen that we can basically create hierarchy based on fields available on the issue. So we could build hierarchy based on the status field, based on the epic field or on the parent field when it comes to advanced roadmaps. Uh, and this was available over here. Uh, but also we can build hierarchy on normal issue links between uh, two Jira issues, which is very flexible and very powerful uh, approach. All right, so that covers it for this video. Uh, in general, I would advise you to, if only possible, go with preset. This covers a lot of cases and, and will be quick, fast and pretty, pretty simple. Now, if you have more complex case, you need to play around and try to do your own pulling in data and creating hierarchy based on insert extender and, and, and uh, grouping. Uh, in most of the cases, there is no problem with that. In some more complex cases, there is several approaches to do this and sometimes it can be pretty tricky. So yeah, hope this video helped you. If you have any problems or any questions about this one, just feel free to reach out to us. I'm sure we'll help. Take care and see you in the next one.